While 2017 is far from over, the year has already been stacked with surprising on-screen deaths. From fan favorites to characters who some wish had been given the axe ages ago, here are some of the most surprising small-screen killings of the year so far. And as always, beware the huge spoilers ahead. Jane the Virgin at the end of Jane the Virgin's second season, Michael Cordero Jr. was shockingly shot in his hallway, but the beginning of season 3 offered fans a collective sigh of relief when they learned he'd managed to survive his injuries. But halfway through the season, he died of a related heart condition anyway. Michael's death itself wasn't too much of a shock, since the narrator told viewers he would love Jane until he drew his dying breath. But when he survived the shooting, it seemed like he'd at least stick around for the rest of the season. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. During Season 4 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Dr. Radcliffe spent much of his time escaping the pain of real life within the virtual reality framework he created. The episode Self Control finally gave fans a good look inside his realm of computerized consciousness. But when evil android Ada learns that his intentions for the framework might not be what she thought, she slashes his wrists, forcing him to stay there. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang. Will he come back from death Coulson style? Maybe. But few fans saw this abrupt twist coming. The Vampire Diaries Fans of The Vampire Diaries were foaming at the mouth when Enzo St. John's heart was unceremoniously ripped out near the end of the show's final season. Sure, his murderer Stefan Salvatore was in ripper mode and wasn't his whole self again until after Bonnie injected him with the cure, but killing a gal's forever love when things were just starting to get good between them was especially raw. Stefan ultimately made up for it by sacrificing himself so another couple, Damon and Elena, could have their happily ever after. But the only thing that made this even remotely bearable was the fact that Enzo got to come back in ghost form and hang out with Bonnie even after his untimely passing. Big Little Lies Readers of Leanne Moriarty's novel of the same name might not have been surprised by Perry Wright's brutal end in Big Little Lies. For those who watched HBO's adaptation of the story, his passing was a shocker. In the very first episode of the show, a death was teased. But it wasn't until the end that fans found out who would meet their maker. Perry was abusive to his wife was in the process of passing on his most terrible tendencies to his son, and committed sexual violence against town newcomer Jane some years before. So he definitely deserved what was coming to him. But still, yowza. The Walking Dead there's no shortage of death on The Walking Dead, but the show's seventh season was filled with some especially shocking deaths. But thanks to the magic of the internet and awareness of the comics upon which the show is based, the brutal demises of Abraham and Glenn weren't altogether unforeseeable. However, when Sasha decided to take a suicide pill while stuffed in a coffin before Negan's dramatic showdown, he was quite surprised to find her emerge from the box as an infected walker, who wanted nothing more than to take a bite out of his bat-wielding arm. Sash. You're not gonna believe this crap. That sacrifice proved to be of little use to the survivors, since it was one of Negan's lackeys who took the brunt of her brutality. But still, brave girl. Homeland Peter Quinn endured a lot of life-threatening things on Homeland, including a stroke, getting gassed, and a struggle with alcoholism. Ultimately, however, he gave up his life for his country, putting himself in the line of fire to save President-elect Keane and get her to the White House. Now, fans might have to learn to love a new assassin-turned-hero. The Leftovers HBO's always fascinating The Leftovers started its third and final season with a literal bang when Mega Butt blew the guilty remnant to smithereens, taking young convert Evie Murphy with her. Since viewers had already believed Evie was dead once before, her death didn't come as much of a shock as Meg's. Many fans figured she'd last through the end of the series. Maybe it's most shocking that the guilty remnant are gone, and Meg was the cause. Well, that's not gonna work. Prison Break Resurrection the revival of Prison Break, appropriately titled Prison Break Resurrection, revived the show with much of the original cast intact, only to kill off one fan favorite in the fourth episode. Though Paul Kellerman was thought to be dead in season two, viewers later learned it was a cover-up. When the show returned, Kellerman was a changed man who'd hung up his gun and was living a righteous life. Unfortunately, you can't put your past behind you, which was a lesson driven home when Kellerman was killed by an assassin. Arrow 
Malcolm Merlin the Magician was ultimately a force of pain and justice, and his end came in the form of noble sacrifice, on the run from Adrian Chase on Lian Yu. Thea stepped on a landmine, and Malcolm, who'd come to the island to protect his daughter, took her place on top of the mine, allowing her to run to safety. Left to confront Chase's minions, Malcolm took his foot off the landmine, wiping them out and giving up his own life in the process. Empire the members of the Lion family often act irrationally and destructively, which is what provides the soap opera theatrics that make Empire so fun. Perhaps there's nobody in the series quite as unhinged as Leah. She's also never been fond of Tariq, the illegitimate child of the family. Tariq was just about to tell his half-brother Lucius about a kidnapping plot, but Leah put a stop to that with a fatal stab to the neck. It's a death that was surprising, bloody, and sad because Lucius and Tariq were just beginning to treat each other like brothers. Fargo To many viewers of the third season of FX's Midwestern crime anthology, it seemed like Nikki Swango would be the last person standing when all was said and done. After all, the petty criminal pulled the strings from the beginning, orchestrating the plot to extort money from a parole officer fiancé's wealthy twin brother, and then always rolling with the punches, staying a step or two ahead of both the police and the bad guys when plans went sour. But even though the crafty Nikki survived countless brushes with death, she still somehow met an unceremonious end when she was shot by a police officer during a roadside standoff. All these devastating demises just go to show that when it comes to small screen drama, no one's safe from an early exit. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.